By the 1840s, the Beaubizon School of Landscape Painters included Theodore Rousseau, and of course you'll recognize uh, this painting, Gathering Wood in the Forest of Fontainebleau of uh, the 1850s, which is in the uh, exhibition. Um, it presents a timeless uh, rural uh, subject. Uh, these uh, artists uh, focused uh, very much on, on uh, peasants and uh, um, agricultural workers as representing timeless uh, types, in ha living in harmony with the seasons, living in harmony uh, with, with nature uh, uh, more than the uh, dynamics, the sh shifting dynamics of the industrialized cities uh, were able to allow people uh, to live. And what uh, Rousseau is saying in a picture like this is, this is how things are now, and this is how they have always been, uh, unchanging, timeless, um, agricultural laborers, peasants, living in harmony with nature, and in this instance, uh, gathering firewood against the onset of winter, which is represented both by the um, autumnal uh, colors and the um, setting site, the dwindling uh, the setting sun, the dwindling uh, light. And uh, a painting immediately opposite it, it in the exhibition is this very early work by uh, Monet. Um, it's the same timeless subject uh, of uh, peasants gathering uh, firewood uh, in an autumnal uh, setting. Um, it's uh, quite a raw uh, piece of, of, of painting, uh, far, far less sophisticated than uh, the than the Rousseau uh, painting, um, but it is on the way to something else. But um, perhaps I should mention here uh, that um, the reflections in the water um, 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 are an indication of the way in which photography has changed people's perception of uh, reality. And um, this painting here by Corot is another example of how photography was changing perceptions of reality. This is morning near Beauvais uh, from around 1855 to 65. The painting is in the exhibition. And it comes from a period when um, there's a certain um, blurriness or fuzziness in um, Corot's uh, uh, treatment of, of nature. And it's thought that uh, in uh, these paintings, uh, particularly in his representation of leaves, that he's been influenced by the look of time-lapse photography um, which, of course, will capture leaves um, shivering. And artists were beginning to think that, or were now accepted that what the camera showed you, what photography showed you, was the truth, was reality. The camera uh, didn't lie, and so artists like Corot began to imitate it. Well, all of the uh, artists of the Barbizon School were great admirers uh, of Constable, who, of course, had um, long since died. He died in 1837, and the Barbizon School really only got underway in the 1840s and 1850s. This view of, uh, the, from the outskirts of Paris by uh, Troyon uh, is uh, in the exhibition, and uh, we note the low horizon, uh, the vaporous nature of the clouds, um, the billowing uh, nature of the clouds, and the immediacy of effect uh, that he's produced. This, this looks like um, uh, a, a moment that has been captured, and it's been captured by means, it's, it's quite a small painting, and if you look at the way in which it's been brushed in, if you go back to the exhibition, look at the way it's been brushed in, very broad brush strokes, very summary uh, brush strokes that point the way uh, towards uh, Impressionism. Um, it's a matter of interest that uh, Troyon tried to purchase the sketches for the Hay Wayne and another of Constable's famous uh, paintings, The Leaping Horse, um, but these uh, works that enter, ended up in the Victoria and Albert uh, Museum. Remember that of the 1824 Salon Constable was told by a friend, the next exhibition will team with your imitators. Um, according to uh, Reynolds, uh, Constable, Constable's monographer, Constable's biographer, Paul Oué's Chateau en Ville de is an almost exact transcription of Constable's Hampstead Heath, Branch Mill Pond, and I dare say um, if we had the time and the energy uh, to look, we would find um, quite a number of uh, very close uh, parallels, as uh, we find when we look for Japanese influences in 
an Impressionist painting. Sometimes we can find the exact print that influenced this or that composition, uh, this or that uh, perspective, this or that uh, subject matter. And uh, here is a, an artist, uh, Jules-Louis Dupré, who uh, had made several visits to England uh, where he ad uh, admired in particular the work of John Crome, one of the great uh, watercolour landscape artists, and of course uh, John uh, Constable. And you can see in this painting that um, Dupré was um, very influenced by English landscape art uh, particularly the art of Constable, as this, uh, as this small and intimate uh, picture uh, shows. Other um, Barbizon painters we might mention, uh, uh, Daubigny, Charles Daubigny, uh, this is Landscape with Sheep of about 1855. Uh, Daubigny was a friend of Corot. Uh, he was also an artist uh, who was admired by Monet, who actually met uh, Monet, but we'll come to that uh, shortly. Um, this um, is a painting that belongs to the nation, belongs to New Zealand, it forms part of the National Art Collection, and it's currently on show in the Islet Room in a little exhibition, Impressions of France, French Prince, 1850 to 1900. It's a lovely little exhibition. Um, it's very easy uh, to miss. It doesn't take a lot of time uh, to look at it, but it does relate very closely to the Monet and the Impressionist exhibition and shows another side of the Impressionists' uh, practice and their work. The first of the artists who were to become known as Impressionists to encounter the paintings of Turner and Constable in London was Alfred Sisley. Although he was born in, pa in Paris, his uh, parents were English and he retained his British nationality throughout his life. In 1857, he was sent to London to begin studying for a career in business but he abandoned this to return to Paris in 1862 to study art, and uh, there he befriended Frédéric Basile, uh, who uh, is not represented in the exhibition, uh, Claude Monet and Pierre-Auguste Renoir. Well, a comparison uh, has been drawn between Sisley and Constable. In fact, um, something about the Englishness of, of Sisley's Impressionism, I think, invites uh, that in com comparison. And uh, one uh, commentator has noted, French artists had been alert to Constable's experience since the 1820s, and Sisley would have been more fully exposed to his work than his French contemporaries while in London, either at the National Gallery or the South Kensington Museum. He may have read C.R. Leslie's biography, which I mentioned, uh, the memoirs I mentioned a little earlier on. And certainly there in his treatment of clouds, the vaporousness of them, and his treatment of, of, scree of uh, trees, there's a, a cultural memory of, the, there's, there are trace elements uh, of uh, Constable and Sisley's admiration of him. In the European autumn of 1870, following the outbreak of the Franco-Prussian War, Claude Monet and Camille Pissarro fled to London to avoid being conscripted into the army to defend an imperial regime that they did not support. A lot of French people who got out of uh, France uh, in the nick of time uh, because they did not want to support uh, that uh, regime. Other French compatriots were also in London, uh, notably Daubigny, one of, the, one of the painters of the Barbizon School of Landscape uh, Painters. 